Hello, my friends. Welcome to the metal shop. Working on the Jeep again today. There she is. Took her out for the first time this season. Just for a little beat around. It's fired right up. Ran no problems whatsoever. So all is good. So I'm going to install the high lift jack and it has a bracket that mounts it to the inside on the roll bar. And I got a off-road base. I believe this came from Amazon and one of the, the jack handle isolators which are pretty much required equipment if you don't feel like listening to your jack handle rattle around. And over here is, oh hello George, shop dog. He's gonna be my assistant today. Right? Right. Alright, so we have the bracket to mount it <clears throat> to the roll bar. Yeah, I got all this stuff for Christmas. It's just been sitting there. I just really didn't, didn't do it. Didn't want to have. Didn't have any desire to do it. Looks pretty simple. Comes with instructions. I will actually read them. Other time. All right. So I see. So it looks like we got two, like C clamps for mounting around the roll bar. Two brackets for holding the jack in place. See, I got my giant uh, Cutco knife. This thing is awesome. I've had this thing for 25 years or so. My brother sold them for a summer. All right, so the box, complete overkill. We got packing tape, we got tabs, and we got staples holding them together. But got here nicely. I'd rather have them over packaged than under packaged and have this giant heavy jack forcing its way out the end. So I got the extra heavy duty 100% cast jack, really just because uh, of the color. Um, I didn't want the ubiquitous red jack. I like this one. It's actually, it's pretty cool. It's kind of, kind of a really dark gray, blackish kind of a fleck color. It's awesome. I like it. Cool. heavy. Ooh, it's just heavy being all cast. So, yeah, I'll give us another pause and we'll get to assembling the uh, the bracket in the Jeep. Anyway, so this is the high lift extreme. Whoa! Extreme! Whatever. Marketing. Oh yeah. So let's see. Stop the rattle. Who makes this thing? Daystar. This is kind of nice. It's kind of a Really heavy polyurethane-ish kind of rubber deal. Pretty cool. Pretty obvious what that thing does. If I can do this one-handed, let's see. So there we go. It's got this neat little catch too. I don't know if they all come with that or not. To hold, kind of hold the handle there. Anyway, let's uh, let's go over to the Jeep. You can see the tire, the spare. That's the one that came out the worst. A lot of a lot of runs and trash in the paint. Who cares? So let's see here. This thing, this tire, spare tire carrier is heavy. subwoofer because why not because Jeep so I believe we're gonna mount right here on the roll bar and right here on the roll bar so stand by all right so looks like this is the driver's side clamp this mounts here and then this we can figure this out. Bolts to the bottom of this. I believe it's the bottom. So the clamp goes in there. And this will go here. Like so ish. And over here, on the passenger side, 
We have the clamp to go like this, and then this will mount to the clamp like so. I'm holding the thing in place. And they want me to put electrical tape on this here. I might have actually something a little better. Well, some kind of foam tape or something. Let's see what I have in there. I mean, they give you this nice <clears throat> wrap over this one, but then they tell you to use black tape to cover that up, so to not mar up your roll bar. Well, okay, we'll see. So I ended up using some, I had the soft side of the Velcro instead of black tape. Hopefully that won't stand it off too much so that it won't tighten, I'm hoping. Put on there. I'm not going to bore you with watching me twist some nuts and bolts. Uh, the big ones that hold this bracket onto the driver's side are 7 16 The small ones that are holding everything together um, are half inch. So I am on. All right, so certainly would have been easier taking the top off, but what a pain that would be in by myself too. So we got them both mounted here. I'm not sure if you can see that was the real pain was getting those 7 16 bolts in that little tight little space. But we did it. I got a wicked set of tools. <laughs> My dad's got the biggest set of tools he can fix anything. So we got that. This one was a little tight, probably using the Velcro spaced out a little bit, but these are serrated nuts, so they really bite into this. This is a nice product. This is made a nice, thick steel. That's obviously powder coated. I think it was expensive. I don't remember how much it was. $60, $70, I think. $70, 69 bucks. Uh, so it was expensive, but it's nice, nice quality product anyway. So let's see, uh, let's mount up the, uh, the jack. See how we do. All right, so we're mounted in. They show it going like this with the wing nuts on this side. And it does have to be that way. The, the base plate of the jack has kind of like recessed holes. So it works, definitely works better like that. A little, little harder to reach tucked in there, but you know, not too bad. Put right in there. The giant wing nut on this side. I mean, it is solid. I mean, it limits opening this obviously, but I mean, three, three huge wing nuts comes out. I and mean, then what, honestly, what do I need to lift this for anyway? I mean, just to get, get this subwoofer. So yeah, overall, I like it. It's great. It's a, it's just a, I mean, you guys know if you have a Jeep, having a high lift is, it's just about a necessity. So yeah, cool. I really like it. I recommend it. I like, really like the looks of the, uh, the extreme high lift jack. It seems to be pretty well built. I don't, I never, I, I mean, my stepdad had one of these when I was a kid. He had a scout, he had one of the, you know, the original ones. And this seems to be a lot nicer, a lot more heavy duty. Um, I guess if you needed to tighten these up more, you, you could put an Allen wrench, but that seems to kind of defeat the purpose. You want to be able to get these off by hand. <laughs> Um, maybe a little, uh, little Loctite, I mean not Loctite, but anti seize or something on there just to make sure they don't get corroded. I'd hate to be out on the, the trail, but you could always hammer, get a little hammer on the, the bolts here, the wing nuts, to take them off. So, yeah. Anyway, another, uh, another small, very small project for the Jeep. I really like. A bunch more stuff is, uh, is coming up. As always, uh, I appreciate you watching. Let's, uh, let's pick up here. I did have to use uh, this large extension to get the, uh, the driver's side on. Let's pick up here. Watch the, uh, the door won't close. Ah. Let's see, we're gonna close this real carefully. Ah, it hits. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do something with that it is it is hitting the piston is is hitting there so uh we'll see i can i'm sure i can adjust this some way to get this thing to close as always my friends thank you for watching appreciate your support please uh click su subscribe and uh, like this video and and give it a share all right cool take care all right so just an addendum here i did get it to fit um this bracket here uh, I just adjusted it up and had to swing it in just a little bit. So if you, I don't know if you can see that or not. It doesn't quite fit flush, but they give you several holes for mounting because quite honestly, these wing nuts were in the way of the piston when they're mounted out here on 
the leading edge. So I did get it in there and everything closes up as it should. It is tight. The piston does just just kiss right into there. I am gonna so I'll put probably just put a piece of black tape in through there, a piece of electrical tape in there. Um, so let's see. Let's see, you can see through the window there. It's it's right up on it, but it does go in there and uh, and shut. So, but it's tight. Or anyway, we're all good. Ugh. Punch me close this heavy thing. All right, so cool. All right, my friends, thanks. Take care.